I'm tired of hearing about the Olympics. There, I said it. Listen, it might not be a popular opinion, but I think it is because who else? I mean, seriously, who's come around to you lately and said like, uh, listen, I got to leave work early tonight because I'm going to catch a beach volleyball on the Olympics. It's Australia versus Mongolia at seven o'clock. And, you know, I'm really into it. There's nobody at bars watching all this shit like, uh, shh, be quiet. Shot putting is on. What the fuck is shot putting anyway? It's when you throw that fucking disc or something, right? I wish my kid would come up to me and tell me, you know what, dad, I want to train for something someday. Really? You want to be an athlete? Okay. What do you want to do? I want to do shot putting. What the fuck's the shot putting? That's when you throw that disc like this really, really hard. You go really, really fast and you're really strong and it goes far. Uh, well, you know what? Let's start training now. I'll throw you out the fucking window until you get that retarded idea out of your goddamn head. Shot putting. Look, the Olympics is boring. It's just boring flat out. I'm tired of being hearing about it every five seconds when I go home, see the news, Olympics, Olympics, Olympics. Who won what? I don't care. Uh, you know, I, I look at my Google toolbar search, see what's going on today. Olympics, Olympics, Olympics. You know, what's the, the program for today? And some of their sports are more ridiculous than others, like fucking, you know, windsurfing. Listen, win, windsurfing, you mean sailing a fucking boat? No, that's not a sport. Shut the fuck up. I don't want to hear about it. That's dumb. No one cares. Who? How are people rooting for windsurfing? Are people following them in boats? Be like, go! <laughs> Rowing some more. Go! Yeah, you're doing it. This is This sucks. We should be in the Olympics too because we're rowing to see these retards. Look, the only way they should get anything for that is if they get out of the water and push the boat halfway across the Atlantic without dying, then they get a gold medal. Then I think it's fair. Then it's interesting. I fucking, you know, uh, shooting pistols into the air is a fucking thing. That's an actual sport at the Olympics. Who cares? There's rednecks doing it right now. You can go any place, any trailer park and see them doing it and be like, cheaper than the Olympics. Uh, probably more entertaining. At least they get drunk and beat their wife and shit. Look, <laughs> this is stupid. I'm so tired of fucking hearing about it. I can't even deal with it anymore. The Olympics is an antiquated thing. I think what the problem is is there's a bunch of TV executives or you know who think like, oh no, everybody wants to see Olympics. They used to watch it like crazy. Key phrase used to. It's like Miss America. You don't see that on. It's not a big thing anymore, right? It's not. I mean, it's for them. Those brain dead idiot bimbo bitches. It's a big deal for them because you know there's nothing else going on. By the time they hit thirty, they could probably kill themselves anyway. But look, it's not a big deal anymore because there only used to be three networks. I mean, I know millennials are like twitching and like shaking right now, but it's true. They were like basically three channels to watch. So yeah, most times. Things got ratings that would not get ratings now because there was nothing else. It was probably just background fodder then. Probably just on so some old person didn't realize they were going to die alone with their cats. I mean, that's probably what it was. It's not – doesn't mean people really liked it. They didn't have a choice. Now people can watch shit they really want to watch and it's not a big thing anymore. Like, look, Miss America, perfect example. It's an it's probably an infomercial at 3 in the morning now. It's probably, you know, right after, you know, that fucking vacuum I really want to buy with my – for fourteen ninety five, that's really worth three grand, and I get my free gift. I mean, that's probably where the Miss America is being shown right now. No one cares anymore. And um, yeah, make make the Olympics good. Like if you're going to do like they have women's tennis, okay, women's tennis from different countries. Here's how you make it interesting. Like fucking have them, you know, insert the fucking tennis racket into their vaginas, and they can use their pubic coccygeal muscles, and you know, kind of ping pong it back and forth. Of course I would watch that. It would have record numbers, different countries doing that against each other. I know what you're thinking. What about the men? They could stick it up their ass. I don't care. <laughs> they could, but imagine two you know, fucking normal guys trying to fucking maneuver with their butts a fucking racket and then hit a ball back and forth to each other. And if they could do it, that would be fucking amazing. It wouldn't be like this. You ever seen people watching tennis too? I mean, how is that fun for you? Uh, who cares? This is so stupid. Fucking, you know, running. They And there's some things that are not really... All right, because I know people are going to get mad. Well, fuck it, whatever. They're not a sport. Running's not a sport. And swimming, to me, is not that much of a sport. Here's why. It's not these people like Ryan Lochte. God bless his brain-damaged, waterlogged head. I, I think it does something to you when they do that much swimming like they do because they can't form a fucking thought, these people. They're the dumbest men I've ever seen in my entire life. Sorry. And I've not heard much from the women. Maybe they're as equally as stupid, but I'm convinced they haven't got all the water out of their head yet. But why swimming, I don't think, is like an Olympic sport. Anybody can learn to swim. Provided you have all your appendages, you can be taught to swim. You, If you trained for a couple of years, <clears throat> it's something you could feasibly do. All right? It's not like um, 
you know, people who are like contortionists and shit like that. There's no way I could ever do what they do. There's no way I could ever bend myself in half, walk backwards for like two miles. There's no way I could ever, you could never, ever, ever teach me to do that. Swimming, you can teach anybody to swim. Anybody can swim. Anybody can learn to swim laps. They just have to have time, patience, practice. They could do it. Running, same fucking thing. I'm not saying they'd be epic at it, but you could eventually, you could take any fat ass on the planet and fucking have them start jogging, then graduate to running, then the long distance running. It is doable, okay? It's not some special X-Men power that these people have. Oh, They fucking, they should have like, you know, I don't know. They should have blind people doing it. <laughs> they should have blind people doing the relays. That would be great. Here's why. Because you have blind people doing it. People with like glaucoma or some shit like that where they can't really see that well. You know, that's it. Blind people versus people with just like stigmatisms and like uh, cataracts and shit like that. See if they really do have an advantage. Can you imagine a bunch of blind people and people with cataracts like trying to make it to the finish line? Listen, we're not going to be too much of dicks here. We're going to make the track really, really long and straight. So just keep going straight. Here's your instruction. Go straight until you feel the fucking finish line. Whoever feels that first wins. The rest of you can keep running out of the stadium. We don't fuck it. Because you know it'd be great. Because a couple a couple people wouldn't even make it like, you know, the first two meters. They'd be running off through the hills. Some would be running into the stands. I mean, but that would be worth watching. Uh, drunk driving. They could actually make it safe. The one time you can drive drunk, it's through an obstacle course from different countries. See which country can drive drunk the best. Who can maneuver the best without hitting the least amount of shit. You know? I'm willing to say, America, we might be able to take that one. I think so. We got a lot of drunk drivers over here. I mean, Europe would give us a run for our money on that one, but I'm, I'm not too sure. Um, okay. Um, making sneakers. Child labor Olympics. There we go. We have children <laughs> who are forced to make a certain amount of products that will be sold at Target at discounted rates, you know, because we're not paying them. And whichever team can make the most amount of shit doesn't get shot and killed. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of be unfair because you know Asia's just going to win. I mean, any any Asian country is just going to fucking take it from us. Those little Japanese girls are great at making fucking, like, you know, uh, sneakers for us uh, in, like, sweatshops and shit like that. Our lazy American fucking kids are sitting there, I don't have my iPad. I can't do it. I have to watch a YouTube tutorial. Fuck you. Look, this is how much I hate the Olympics. I'm just ripping out shit. <laughs> fucking, you know, you have to have tennis you know, or that shot putting. You know, you want to sh- shoot things long distances? Have, like, gay guys stick ping pong balls up their ass and see from different continents and different countries, see who can shoot at the furthest. That would be fucking interesting. Fucking, you know, girls too. Fucking porn stars. Shit, make it. Uh, this is boring, these Olympics. I want to see crazy bullshit. I want to see, like, two headed twins versus two headed twin boxing from different countries. Imagine, because not only do you have to knock one person out, you have to knock two heads out. <laughs> and you've got another head to help you do it. Like, It would be awesome. So let's just make the Olympics great again. That's all I'm saying. <laughs>